The music in the show is very important because it helps set the tone of the play. It lets the audiences know exactly where they are, Scotland, and what's in store for them. And the amazing thing about music is it can help elevate a scene. It can help evoke senses of paranoia and anger and betrayal and fear. The music has been composed by Ali McRae, alongside musicians Annie Grace, Brian O'Sullivan and Gaelic singer uh, Kathleen McInnes. Music is important to this production because it sets a very strong sound world into an imagined Scotland that, that is here and now, but also way back in the olden days. The role of the music is to heighten what's happening on the stage. What Ali is doing is just really exciting. He's taking ancient melodies and sounds and just bringing them right up to date with, you know, beats. I've known most of the musicians for quite some time and have worked with them all before and even so, they still surprise me every day. And I've had the pleasure of watching them create and devise this beautiful Scottish atmospheric music using the most amazing instruments. I mean, I can hear the sounds of the Scottish bagpipes, the accordion infused with Kathleen's beautiful singing. All of it just screams Scotland. Part of what we do is moulding some Purshta Vale, which is Gaelic mouth music that Kathleen sings, into a form that we can use to, to underscore and to develop a scene, uh, sort of stretching it into such a way that we could put some beats on it. Sort of did some tracks to go behind it with some pretty fat bass and some, some dirty beats, but still maintaining the, the live elements of the singing and the instrumentation. So all of our cast hail from all over Scotland, so there's a vast mix of accents and dialects, including Scottish Gaelic. So it's just great to see and hear our Scottish roots being celebrated in such a bold and authentic way. It's really nice to represent the Gaelic culture because Macbeth was a Gaelic speaker, the last Celtic king of Scotland. We're using a lot of counterdach, which is like uh, the vocal impersonation of the bagpipes for some of the scenes, which is really interesting, and laments and some keening, a type of Gaelic song that would help the soul go to the next world. Gareth Fry's sound design is remarkable. The binaural technology is very exciting. I think it's one of the most unique selling points of our production. The whole point of using the binaural technology is to create a unnerving, tense 3D sound world in which the audiences will experience through headphones. So they will feel as if they're placed inside the Macbeth's heads. We had a chance to to try on the headphones in one of the first days that we were in, and it is really powerful. I mean, it's like being inside the head of the, the actor. Can you imagine not being able just to only hear, but also almost feel and taste every inner deep, dark thought the Macbeths are experiencing every second of the play? It's an extraordinary tool, I think, with the help of the sound design and the binaural technology, will create an amazing experience for audience members who've seen the production before, but never quite seen it done like this. It's gonna be one hell of a tragedy.